All right. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. I'm Pooja Kant from emofreetherapy.com, and uh, this is a live tapping demo that I'm going to be doing with Miss Reen. Miss Reen is a accredited EFT practitioner with EFT International, and she's been practicing EFT for nearly four to five years. She has been a counselor for nearly eight years, and she's a life coach as well. So welcome, Ms. Reen, and thank you so much for volunteering for this tapping session. Thank you, Pooja, for having me. Yeah, you're most welcome. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and see if more people join in. Would you like to say something more about you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm really happy to be associated with you because, uh, you know, you really have taken uh, EFT to another level uh, for me. You know, I started uh, uh, taking training with you and uh, things have changed quite a bit after that. And I'm really oh. pleased about that. Thank you so much for being in my life. Most welcome. Um, thank you. And I'm really glad that it helped. Thank More you so much. much. Yeah. So what I'll do is, Nisreen, just a few uh, comments for the viewers. And also, it seems I can later post the, you know, the link to join. But I think it's already on my uh, profile. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So for my viewers, I, some of you are here and those of you who are going to watch later, please note that it's a demo on COVID stress and we'll be using EFT to work on easing certain uh, stress, anxiety related to COVID. And this is definitely not any medical advice or treatment. It's just a simple tool called emotional freedom techniques and we'll be using that. And please take full responsibility for your self-care if you are tapping along with us. You can tap along with us because some of the content may be triggering. It's related to pandemic and COVID. And uh, I hope that uh, this is helpful. Okay. So, Nisreen, before we begin, shall we just do a round of touch and breathe to, sure. you know, just calm our nervous system? This applies to you and me as well because this is a first live uh, demo for both of us. So, let's do that and then we'll get into what we can tap on. Sure. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, just touching the side of the hand point, breathing in and breathing out. Top of the head point, breathing in, breathing out. Eyebrow, breathing in, breathing out. Eye corner, breathing in, breathing out. Again, breathing in, breathing out. Under nose, breathing in, breathing out. Chin point, breathing in, breathing out. Collarbone, breathing in, breathing out. Underarm, breathing in, breathing out. Gamut point, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, Nisreen, just give me a minute because I just want to check if it is broadcasting or not. As in just the link, I'm just looking for the link. Just a second. There was a broadcast link. Um, I'll just take a minute to go and check it's showing up it's it's live i can see it on my uh... okay good great all right so let's begin okay so nisreen tell me what would you like to work on today yeah so uh, so this uh, pandemic seems to be uh, you know 
maybe last year it wasn't that, that much but now with uh, with the it's like uh, you know a, a, an atom bomb uh, which has exploded so you know i feel that uh, i have become a little bit more hyper vigilant and uh, you know even a small little bit of uh, you know, maybe a little bit of a uh, irritation in my throat sends uh, sends this uh, kind of an anxiety attack or a panic attack that uh, you know i keep trying to swallow and see is is my throat really hurting or what you know so i've become a, a lot more hyper vigilant about uh, the symptoms which uh, which we keep hearing on the news yeah okay okay all right let's just begin with that and how do you feel in the body while you're talking about the hyper vigilance checking your throat yeah so uh, i i am feeling a little uh, you know uh, what what normally would feel like excitement but it is kind of you know uh, it gives me one one strange sensation all over my body where you know i can feel the, that uh, stress setting in the moment you start i start talking about it yeah and if you were to rate it on a scale of 0 to 10 10 being a really high number what would it be uh right now it would be at an 8 or a 9 and what is the sensation like mr rain if you can describe it uh, it's like a tingling sensation uh like you know when uh, when you get kind of goosebumps yeah okay okay let's start with that right yeah. okay side of the hand even though i have this tingling sensation in my body even though i have this tingling sensation in my body i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself even though i have this tingling sensation in my body even though i have this tingling sensation in my body i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself even though this tingling sensation feels like goosebumps even though this tingling sensation feels like goosebumps i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself and feel free to change the words whenever you want sure yeah. top of the head this tingling sensation in my body 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 and uh, this goosebumps kind of a feeling and this goosebump kind of a feeling feels like i would want to jump out of my uh, body right now okay very uncomfortable feels like okay okay yeah feels really uncomfortable feels really uncomfortable feels like i want to jump out of my body right now feels like i want to jump out of my body right now feels really uncomfortable feels really uncomfortable and i'm acknowledging all of this and i'm acknowledging all of this okay we'll just do the finger points as well feels really uncomfortable feels really uncomfortable i feel like jumping out of my body i feel like jumping out of my body feels really uncomfortable feels really uncomfortable i feel like jumping out of my body feel like jumping out of my body feels really uncomfortable feels really uncomfortable yeah my point i feel like jumping out of my body i feel like jumping out of my body Okay, breathe in, breathe out. How's that sensation? What's going on? Yeah, so uh, I can I can feel a kind of a relief, a little bit of it. Uh, it's come down to a seven now. Okay. Yeah. And that jumping out of my body that's still there, right? That's. A... Yeah. it's still there and uh, i can feel a kind of pressure or at my temples hmm right okay is it mild or high yeah it's mild it's mild it's very mild okay okay side of the hand even though there's a little bit of a relief even though there is a little bit of a relief i still feel like jumping out of my body i still feel like jumping out of my body and it's so uncomfortable and it's so uncomfortable i acknowledge how i feel 
I acknowledge how I feel. Even though I have this pressure at my temples. Even though I have this pressure at my temples. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel like jumping out of my body. Even though I feel like jumping out of my body. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself and I acknowledge the presence of these feelings. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Top of the head. I feel like jumping out of my body. I feel like jumping out of my body. And I acknowledge the presence of these feelings. And I acknowledge the presence of these feelings. I feel so uncomfortable. I feel so uncomfortable. I have this pressure at my temples. I have this pressure at my temples. I feel like jumping out of my body. I feel like jumping out of my body. And it's an uncomfortable feeling. And it's an uncomfortable feeling. And I'm acknowledging all of these feelings. I'm acknowledging all of these feelings. I'm acknowledging these feelings. I'm acknowledging these feelings. I'm acknowledging this feeling of discomfort in my body. I'm acknowledging this feeling of discomfort in my body. I'm acknowledging this feeling of pressure at my temple. I'm acknowledging the presence of this uh, discomfort at my temple. I'm acknowledging the presence of discomfort at my temple. I'm acknowledging the presence of discomfort at my temple. I'm acknowledging this discomfort in my body. 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 I'm acknowledging how I feel right now. I'm acknowledging how I feel right now. All right, take a deep breath. Just notice how is that pressure, how is the tingling sensation? So the pressure is completely gone. I don't feel the pressure at all anymore. And uh, the tingling sensation also has come down to a three now. Okay, that's great. All right. And how about that discomfort in your body, that feeling like jumping out of my body? So the discomfort uh, was, uh, the reason why I wanted to jump out of my body was I was very uncomfortable with that feeling. And uh, I did not want to be in that kind of a, uh, this, you know, so it was like I wanted to look the other way. I did not want to look at uh, that feeling. So that's also re uh, really come down. It's, it's probably at a two right now. All right. Okay. Okay, so when you were talking about the hypervigilance and especially with the throat, you know, swallowing and checking. Mm. Yeah. How is that? Shall we tap on that? Yes, on I would like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, let's tap on that. Side of the hand. Even though I have this hypervigilance. Even though I have this hypervigilance. About um, this COVID situation about this COVID situation, about the way my throat feels, about the way my throat feels. I feel like swallowing and checking. I feel like swallowing and checking. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this hypervigilance about my throat. Even though I have this hypervigilance about my throat. I'm acknowledging how this feels. I'm acknowledging how this feels. Even though I have this hypervigilance about my throat. Even though I have this hypervigilance about my throat. I'm acknowledging how this feels. I'm acknowledging how this feels. Okay. Just in your own words, how would you describe what's going on with the hypervigilance? Yeah, so, uh, so especially uh, when I go to sleep at night, uh, when I, uh, you know, uh, I feel a little bit of uh, an irritation. Like when, uh, when you sleep at night, uh, your throat tends to get dry. Yeah. So, uh, so you know that immediately that uh, uh, kind of you know um, is everything okay? You know why am I feeling this? Hmm. So, uh, so yeah. immediately I reach out for uh, for some uh, some water. Even if uh, if uh, my husband uh, starts coughing, I'm like, why are you coughing? Are you okay? You know, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the this uh, 
this keeps going on and does it happen mostly in the nights mostly in the nights yes during the day uh, like when when you are uh, when i'm awake and i'm talking to people my throat doesn't tend to get dry uh, it's especially at night when you know uh, i'm trying to fall asleep hmm. and uh, that's that you know the dryness in the throat uh, immediately makes me feel oh what's happening okay okay let's do and then i start i start thinking did i did i meet anybody from outside so you know yeah yeah okay okay let's do a structured round on that yeah okay so even though even though this especially happens in the night this especially happens in the night when my throat gets dry when my throat gets dry and i'm ha- and i'm wondering what's happening and i'm wondering what uh, what's happening and um, i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself just a second mr in my throat started getting dry what's the second excuse me <clears throat> okay yeah all right wow <laughs> okay side of the hand even though in the nights even though in the night when my throat gets dry when my throat gets dry i start wondering am i okay is everything okay i keep uh, i start wondering whether i'm okay everything is okay yeah i i acknowledge how i feel i acknowledge how i feel yeah this happens in the nights usually this happens in the nights usually when my throat gets dry when my throat gets dry and then i start thinking am i okay or not then i start thinking am i okay or not what is happening what's happening this usually happens in the nights this usually happens in the night uh, when my throat gets dry and when uh, basically i am alone and uh, you know there are no other distractions mm-hmm. so the mind uh, there tends to go there okay yeah i'm alone there are no other distractions i'm alone and there are no other distractions and my mind tends to go there my mind tends to go there yeah all right take a deep breath yeah how's your body feeling right now nishri what's going on in your body so as long as we are tapping you know uh, my, my mind is uh, keeping uh, keeping a track of what uh, what i'm thinking but the moment i let go i can uh, you know i can start feeling uh, the sensations in my body though though they're not very uncomfortable as it was when we started off and it's not even uh, it's not uh, this but then i can, i become aware of those sensations the moment we stop tapping tapping yeah okay all right hmm so right now that you're aware of the sensations how strong would they be around 4 to 5 4 to 5 and what sensation is strong right now what are the different kinds of sensations yeah it's just uh, just like you know th- there is a, a buzzing in the body hmm yeah all right okay let's tap on that yeah side of the hand so even though while i'm tapping even though while i'm tapping i'm not aware of the sensations i'm not aware of the sensations i don't feel them as strongly i don't feel them as strongly but as soon as i bring my awareness to my body but as soon as i bring my or rather my awareness goes back to my body the moment we stop yeah yeah and i can feel this buzzing in my body i can feel this buzzing in my body i would like to deeply and completely accept myself i would like to deeply and completely accept myself anyways yeah even though the moment i stop tapping even though the moment i stop or stop tapping my mind goes to the buzzing in my body my mind goes to the buzzing in my body i deeply and completely love and accept myself anyways i deeply and completely love and accept myself anyways yeah top of the head um 
my mind goes to the discomfort in my body my mind goes to the discomfort in my body as soon as i stop tapping as soon as i stop tapping i can feel this buzzing in my body 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 i'm aware of 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 this buzzing in my body i'm bringing my attention to the buzzing in my body right now is it okay yes. to do that yes uh because i really am trying to uh, bring my focus back to uh, that buzzing so that you know i can uh, tap it out of my body okay so it's okay to acknowledge this buzzing in my body yes it's okay to acknowledge and i do acknowledge this buzzing in my body all right i do acknowledge this buzzing in my body i do acknowledge this buzzing in my body which is related to the hypervigilance which is related to hypervigilance that usually comes up in the nights that usually comes up in the nights okay just take a deep breath just notice what's going on with the buzzing right now or even acknowledging it yeah so uh, so the buzzing uh, has actually just gone down and it's only there in my calves and shin now okay M- more in my uh, shins rather than my calves but it's only there hmm. yeah okay and how much would it be it's at a 2 it's not uh, it's not it's not as uncomfortable as it was at the beginning mm-hmm. it's just there okay okay and when you think about the night and especially the throat getting dry and all those and that hypervigilance coming up in the nights what's going on right now about that so uh so so what what uh, uh, as we were tapping what uh, what came up was i have always had this uh, uh, you know thing with my throat uh, in fact it used to be a lot worse before but i have become more aware of, of it only now because of this covid situation because i used to have a uh, uh, allergic uh, reaction to uh, to dust hmm. and now that i am at home most of the time that has really really improved okay so so it's uh, i i i uh, understand that uh, this is this kind of hypervigilance is only because of this uh, covid uh, situation and it has nothing to do and it it's not as it used to be before when i used to have uh, you know the allergic reaction whenever i used to go out mm-hmm. so it's it's lot better right now mm-hmm. and yet uh, yet because of uh, the covid situation only i keep uh, thinking about it it's not it's not there normally but it just makes me uh, more conscious about it even though it's not it's not really uh, as bad as it used to be before okay and you get conscious about it when you have the dryness is that when the that, when that's when about it yes okay and, uh, and now it, now when i'm thinking about it it's a it's uh, i also understand that you know the dryness of the uh, uh, of the throat is just because uh, because you know i uh, i'm keeping quiet and there is not too much of a movement of the saliva and that's the reason why the uh, dryness is there hmm. okay all right okay let's tap that in yeah side of the hand all right even though i still have some buzzing in my calves and shin even though i have uh, still have some buzzing in my calves and shin i deeply and completely accept myself i deeply and completely accept myself even though i still have some buzzing in my calves and shin even though i still have some buzzing in my calves and shins i deeply and completely love and accept myself i deeply and completely love and accept myself even though whenever my throat gets dry even though when whenever my throat gets dry i feel hypervigilant i feel hypervigilant i completely accept myself i completely accept myself okay through the points when my throat gets dry i feel this hypervigilance when my throat gets dry i feel this hypervigilance 
and i know that it's because i'm not you you said something about you know the saliva that made sense yeah so uh, uh, i i uh, i understand that it's because of the uh, saliva not uh, you know going down the throat and that's what is causing the dryness because uh, because my i'm not talking and i'm not uh, really doing anything and that's why the saliva is probably not moving around as much hmm. okay is that uh, your mind saying it or do you feel it emotionally i can feel it emotionally because uh, because i really uh, really uh, it, it's 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 just uh, it's there you know i i understand that this is the way it is like you know the right now when i was thinking about uh, about it happening at night and i was like yeah it happens because uh, because i'm not talking and the saliva isn't moving in my throat and that's the reason why it uh, it causes the dryness mm-hmm. yeah okay all right all right so i know the reason for this dryness in my throat i understand the reason for the dryness in my throat now okay i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now just one more round on that i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now i understand this reason for the dryness in my throat now i understand the reason for this dryness in my throat now i understand this reason for the dryness in my throat now and i'm acknowledging the reason for that i'm acknowledging the the reason for that and uh i would like to tell my mind also you know that uh, it's okay to have the stress but it's also uh it's also okay to let things be you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, you know keep thinking about this uh, over and over again hmm yeah the screen your screen is frozen is it yeah but i can hear you so we can continue tapping yeah okay then i am uh, i can see both uh, both of us uh you can see my screen is not frozen no no it isn't all right okay then um right now yours is but i'm sure it will be fine yeah. in some time yeah okay so you were saying it's okay to tell my mind that that i don't need to uh, uh, to keep thinking about this over and over again and let uh, let things be the way they are okay and i know it's uh, so if- i take care of my uh, myself and uh, it's okay all right i also acknowledge so, that uh, it's uh, it's okay to be hyper vigilant also but not uh, to the to the point of being so stressed out about it okay so would you would it be okay to say that it's okay to be cautious but not so stressed about it perfect yes it's okay that would cautious be- yes uh and hmm. yes it it's okay to be cautious but not so stressed about it okay all right let's tap on that and i um, also want to acknowledge my mind for uh, for uh, really uh, doing this so that it uh, i can take care of myself okay all right okay so before we go forward just take a deep breath and just focus on your calves and shins and just see what's going on there yeah the uh, the uh, buzzing sensation is completely gone it's a, uh, it's not there at all okay awesome all right okay so let's just tap on what you just came for you right so yeah. even though i have been feeling this hyper vigilance even though i have been uh, been feeling this hyper vigilance due to the dryness in my throat due to the dryness in my throat i would te- like to tell my mind i would like to tell my mind that it's okay to be cautious but not so stressed 
it's okay to be cautious but not so stressed even though my mind has been stressed about it even though my mind has been stressed about this i want to acknowledge my mind for i would like to acknowledge my mind for uh, you said something specific. yeah uh, i acknowledge my mind for uh, for uh, really taking care of me yeah okay all right even though my mind has been stressed about it even though my mind has been stressed about it i do want to acknowledge my mind for taking care of me i would like to acknowledge my mind for taking care of me and thank it for uh, for uh, really being there for me okay yeah all right let's say that although my mind has been really stressed although my mind has uh, really been really stressed i would like to thank my mind for being there for me i'd like to thank my mind for being there for me okay i would like to thank my mind for being there for me i'd like to thank my mind for being there for me and i'd also like to tell my mind that it's okay to be cautious and i'd li also like to tell my mind that it's okay to be cautious but not so stressed but not so stressed and i acknowledge that my mind is helping me take care of myself absolutely i acknowledge that my mind is only helping me to take care of myself better okay i acknowledge that my mind is only helping me i acknowledge that my mind is only helping me to take care of myself take care better. of myself better yeah yeah um anything you want to add to this mystery yeah it's just that you know uh it it's just that you know my my mind has uh, always i i realize that uh, it's always wanted the best for me and that, that's the reason why uh, it just uh, keeps uh, asking me to check in with myself hmm yeah okay okay so just include that my mind wants the best for me my, my mind wants the best for me so it's asking me to check in with myself and that's why it's asking me to check in with myself okay. i acknowledge my mind for doing so okay so on the finger points you can say that i acknowledge my mind for doing so i acknowledge my mind for doing so my mind wants the best for me my mind wants the best for me wants me to check in with myself wants me to check in with myself and uh, i acknowledge my mind for doing this for me I acknowledge my mind for doing this for me. I acknowledge my mind for doing this for me. I acknowledge my mind for doing this for me. I acknowledge my mind for doing this for me. I acknowledge my mind for doing this for me. Breathe in, breathe out. So just checking in with uh, your body and seeing how your body feels right now. Now I'm feeling uh, very relaxed there's no no buzzing sensation there's no goosebumps like feeling uh, yeah okay yeah. feeling good yeah and how do you feel being in your body yeah it's okay it's fine because there's no uh, no discomfort anymore okay and uh, how about the throat dryness and the hyper vigilance that you've been experiencing so uh, so that uh, the throat dryness is not there uh, even uh, like you know because i'm talking much also it's not there and uh, uh, the hyper vigilance uh, it's it's i understand now you know that it's only uh, my mind's way of uh, telling keep uh, keep a check on uh, on things and it's not a uh, it's not something that you know i have to keep uh, beating myself up about it uh, okay nay you must uh, uh, you know oh, what is happening what is happening it's not uh, not like that it uh, as it was before we started out okay okay all right okay so you're saying that the throat what if the throat dryness comes up how do you feel how do you think your reaction would be if so uh, so uh, what what 
I'm feeling right now is if the throat dryness comes up. Uh, it is. I I understand now that it's only because uh, because either I have been uh, talking too much or I've been uh, been keeping quiet, and that's why there is no saliva. And so uh, so at best, I uh, I need to just reach out for some water, and I, I would be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So. I think we just we so in EFT we uh, you are an EFT practitioner as well. We just focus on some aspects of a problem. So we were only focusing on the hypervigilance related to the throat, and uh, so that seems to be okay right now in your body. Absolutely, it's yeah, the body is okay about. Uh, All right, okay. So I think it would be a good, you know, place to close the session on this. And yep. of course, there are other pieces of the problem which will need to be addressed. And yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, your body, you're feeling okay right now? Okay. Yes. I'm feeling okay. Absolutely fine. There, uh, there is uh, none of the discomfort that we started off with. There is uh, no buzzing sensation at all in my uh, shins and calves anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot, lot, lot more relaxed now. Oh, okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. So I think for the viewers, those of you who are going to watch it, it's all about EFT. Uh, with the t with the help of EFT, we can really acknowledge what's going on in our minds and body. And when you tap on it, whatever is going on, you sit with it instead of trying to escape it because it's so uncomfortable then changes start coming in and you start getting these new perspectives and that can really help in dealing with whatever is going on nowadays all the stress that we have because of the pandemic and the covid so i really feel eft can help and thank you uh, nasreen again for volunteering and I also wanted to uh, talk about the course that I'm doing on Sunday and Monday. It's on 23rd and 24th of uh, May. It's basically Calm Amidst the Chaos course. And it's uh, just being able to use structured basic EFT to help you ease the stress and the anxiety that you feel because of the situation nowadays. So the link will be on my website and I'll post the link in the comment section as well. Yeah. Okay, so looking forward Nisri to that uh, course as well. Okay. Thank you so much. So that was great, Nisreen. And despite the technical glitches, I hope we managed to. <laughs> yeah. Do it, it was uh, it was absolutely fine from my end. I could see uh, see the video a uh, video completely okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll end the live call now. Okay. Okay. And thank you again, Nisreen. It was wonderful tapping with you. And yeah, hope thank you can do Pooja. this again. Yes, definitely. I would really look forward to doing this again. And thank you so much, Pooja, for uh, for uh, you know giving me this opportunity to work with you. Oh, you're most welcome. And it was really lovely to do this with you. Thank you. Okay. Take care and stay safe. All right. Thank Bye. you so much. Same to you. Bye. Bye.